turned it down just a tad. All right, now, here's the tricky thing. It calls for tomatoes. However, it doesn't want the whole tomato. That looks like a good big size. Look how big that thing is, Jesus. Let's take the stem off, a stemectomy, if I can. All right, actually, I'm going to take that part off because it didn't come out so well. All right, so, actually, let's do it this way. We're going to cut, what we're going to do is we're going to cut the tomato in half. Just like so. And what you want to do is you want to get one of your big spoons, your big tablespoons. And you actually, you know what? I'm going to grab a bowl. And you actually just want to, pretty much what you're doing is you're going to de-seed the tomato. And take out all this stuff in the middle. It's like um, picking out the seeds of a cantaloupe, basically. Give that a little cut. Since it wants to be stubborn. There we go. It's exactly what it's like. It's just like taking out the center of a, of a cantaloupe. You just want to try to get as much out as you can. And you don't want to, you know... take out all the center. You want to leave some of it in, but you just want to try to get as much juice and as much seeds out as possible. See, that's perfect. And same thing with this one, and I might have to do another tomato. We'll see how much this gives us. This is actually one of the fun parts, because you get to almost play the vegetable doctor here, taking out parts and cutting up parts. and <laughs> they have a sick mind or what? See, that's, that's actually more perfect than the first half, but it's probably because of that stem. Okay. So what we're going to do, make sure I work around that. Taste this. Mmm. Wow. It's just going to cut it up into small pieces. And I'm going to add it to the onion and garlic mixture over there on the stove and just let it cook through just a little bit. See, the reason why you want to take out the seeds and all this is because when you cook a tomato in whole or in chunks like this, then it gets very liquidy and you just don't want all of that. You want your, you don't want, you know, your rice to be goopy and sloppy and it's just not made for that. So that's why you want to take out the seeds and, you know, as much juice as possible. Like this, there's, I could still feel some juice in here, but even when we cook it, we're going to take everything out with a slotted spoon like I've been doing with the, sh the sausage and the, um, the chicken over there. And the reason why I put everything in a bowl is actually I can keep that. And if I ever make want to make something that calls for tomatoes, I can just use the center of the tomatoes with the tomato juice. That's no problem. Um, like if you're making a pasta dish or if you're calling for something um, that calls for a small tomato, that's perfect. So you can freeze. You can actually freeze that. That makes it. That actually makes it pretty good. Even if you even if you make your own tomato sauce. Um, that's perfect too. Okay, so I'm back, and all I'm doing right now is I got a bag of shrimp um, that have tails on them, so all I'm doing is just snipping off the tails. Um, all you do is just pinch the tail where you feel the meat, right there, just like that, and all you get is the whole shrimp, and no meat left in there. Awesome. Some of them already started, but... They were so frozen, so cold, I threw some hot water in the bag real quick and just let it sit for about 30 seconds. 
so like I was saying before, this is the kind of dish that you can pretty much add or subtract pretty much just about anything that you want. Um, you could add more fish, you could add more chicken, you could add more sausage. Um, it's really one of those, um, you know, however you like it dishes. If you want it spicy, add some spices. If you're like me, and well, not so much, I don't like it, I'm just allergic. You know, you can't have spices. Um, then, you know, don't add so many or don't add any at all. Um, but like I said also, this is um, considered the quick pie. This is pretty much, you know, do some things here and there. It usually ta it only takes about, uh, I think I've been working on, I mean, in video time, it's only been about probably 10, 15 minutes. But in actual time, it's been probably about an hour, maybe just a tad bit more. But the, the other um, recipe I was telling you about with my grandmother, um, she has one that takes a, quite a few hours. So, that is one I'm not going to be doing anytime soon. Maybe if I ever open a catering business, but I don't plan on to, so maybe that's just out the window. Okay. So, my rice is just about done, so I just want to get these last few items done. Ooh, these are so cold. So I'm just going to put throw these in the pan real quick and heat them through and try to get all the excess water off okay, of them. Okay, so I wanted to show this to you guys real quick. Um, it's a package of mussels in, in a garlic uh, butter sauce. And these are usually really good. And this is how they come packaged. They have like vacuum sealed here. So, oh, they're not even open. Okay, so it's a good thing. <laughs> so basically what it says to do here... I can find it, is um, empty contents of a pouch into a saucepan and cover, heat on high for three to four minutes, reduce heat, blah, 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 blah. All right, so basically what you're going to do is what you normally do with mussels and clams. You're just going to throw these into the saucepan, which I'm, which is still working over there. And then I'm going to go ahead and cover them up so they cook a little bit quicker. Basically, what you want them to do is you want them to open up. If they don't open, then you know they're bad. If they open and they, they're they looking at you funny, then you know they're good. So, all right, let me just add these in real quick. You know what I'm going to do? I've got a little bit of the lemon juice inside the little plastic lemon here. I'm just going to add a splash. Of okay, everything is in the bowl and ready to go. But before I take it downstairs for the guys to devour, I'm just going to cut up some um, little uh, parsley. I mean, and we're really going to chop this. This is just for some little grain and a little decoration. It also gives it a little pizzazz, I think. So, it's good. And the smell is just outrageous. It's, oh, it's not my favorite, but it's still very, very good. I love cilantro. That's my absolute favorite, in case you were wondering. Okay, guys. So, let me just add this and in. And here is my finished product. So, you got... Some chicken, you got a shrimp right there. Um, wait, where am I pointing? Right there. <laughs> there's the chicken. You see all the mussels. I don't see any sausages. Oh, there's a good piece of sausage right there. So that's how it turned out, and I think it's going to be excellent. I can't wait to take it downstairs. And as soon as I find out how the guys feel about it, I'll let you know. Um, in case you're wondering, I'm sorry, I have to cover you up. I have to walk around without killing anything here. My salad is very basic, lettuce, tomato, onion, and instead of the regular oil and vinegar or Italian or ranch, I actually did a lemon-lime um, pepper and salt uh, mixture here, and it's very good. I suggest you try it. So that's it, people. Um, I hope you enjoy. I hope you try this. I hope you enjoy it. Um, again, this I'm making for six to seven people today. But obviously, it can be cut down to like for two to four people, or just two, or maybe even just one of you. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Please try this. Please let me know how it comes out. Take care. Bye-bye. So, it ended up being a very productive day because everybody loved the dish. So, <clears throat> all right, 
a little end note here. Um, the paella is one of those dishes that you can add or subtract anything that you please. Um, if you like spicy food, you can add some spice. You can add, um, you know, some Tabasco sauce or cayenne pepper or anything of that sort. If you like more fish, add more fish. If you like more chicken, add more chicken. If you like a combination of all these different things, add them in. It's a totally one of those um, as you like it dishes. It's just perfect. So everything turned out great. Everything was uh, just the way I had hoped it would come out. So hope you enjoyed. Um, until then, uh, let me know if you try this, let me know how it comes out, and let me know um, if you've made any any more tweaks to it or anything of that sort, okay? I will talk to you guys soon. Have a good night, and take care. Bye-bye.